Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to talk about my not so good experience with the Unify Cloud Key. You know that I've been using Unify devices in my network and it's been over a year since I started and I actually shared with you all my new home network setup and I made a bunch of videos in which I showed you how I installed the firewall, the switch, the access point and the surveillance system. And beside the firewall that is a FortiGate, all the other devices are from Ubiquity. They are Unify devices and I've been enjoying them so far. So everything is running fine, but I have a lot of issues with the Unify Cloud Key. And I'm going to tell you, first of all, what is the Unify Cloud Key? I'll tell you what are the issues that I'm having with the Unify Cloud Key. And then I'll try to see what might be the causes of all those issues. And last, I'll tell you exactly what will be my solution so far. I didn't plan to make this video. Yesterday, I had um, the Unify Cloud Key pulled up, but I couldn't access anything. And those are the kind of situations or the kind of issues that I want to to share with you here because you might have the same setup as mine or even you might have a bigger setup in mind you need to know what is the problem with the Unify cloud key and this may help you go for a better device or a better option you know i like ubiquity ubiquity is one of the easiest way to have an enterprise setup in your home network or your business with a low cost because you don't have to buy licenses unlike some other solutions like cisco juniper or all those other big names they make you pay a lot yearly in terms of licenses and so on so ubiquity is still a very good option i'm not deterring anybody from getting ubiquity or installing unify but i'm just sharing with you what might be or what are the limitations of the unify cloud key first of all what is the unify cloud key when you have Ubiquity or Unify equipment in your network, you need to run Unify applications and they have many applications. Some of them that I'm using are, first of all, Unify network. This is the application that is managing your network devices. When you have access point, you have a switch, you have a firewall, you need to manage all those devices with this application, which is basically just a controller for all those equipment. You have Unify Protect. Unify Protect is managing your video surveillance system. This is where you manage all your cameras, you manage the footage, you can save them, you can uh, download them, and you can set up the cameras and everything. I also started using Unify Talk. This is something that I've been just using for myself for, for experience. And I'm going to share with you some of my findings uh, on Unify Talk very soon. So I have some phones that I bought. I'll come back with some more content later on. But they have more than this. They have Unify Access, they have Unify ID. So you can, you can do a lot with Unify. They are a good company, I like them. But the Unify Cloud Key is what I choose to run these applications. First of all, you have many options. You can run these on a Windows computer. Um, except the Unify Protect. You cannot run a Unify Protect on a, Windows, on a Windows computer. You need to have either the Unify Cloud Key or the UDM Pro, which is the firewall, or you can also buy the NVR just dedicated to Unify Protect. But Unify Network can be run on um, a Windows computer. You can run it on a Linux computer. You can run it on a Raspberry Pi, and you have a bunch of options for this. I actually tried to run it on a, on a Windows computer. It was actually just fine. It was very quick, very uh, easy to access, and it was a good experience. So the Unify Cloud Key is what I'm using, and I made a video on how I installed it and everything way back. It's running fine, I can say 80% of the time, but I have some 20% of the time when it's not working perfectly. First of all, sometimes it might not load. I can be in the same network, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, or I'm connected to the exact same VLAN, and I'm trying to access the Unify Cloud Key and I don't get anything. Even though the device is up, I can ping it, but it doesn't just want to load. And I'll tell you exactly later on what might be the causes, but sometimes it just doesn't work. It can be inside the network or outside. Outside might make sense a little bit, but inside the network, that's the most frustrating one. The second issue is that sometimes it loads, but very slowly. You get access to the UCK, you're trying to see some footage from a camera, or you're trying to make some changes on the switch, and it takes forever to load, and it doesn't respond. That happens very often and i don't know if you noticed it but my voice is a little awkward i just came back from a trip and i'm in self-quarantine so you should understand what's going on so um but i'm fine i'm definitely fine but i'm taking some time to uh, make this video so if you like what i'm doing if you like this video please do not forget to like the video and share it with your community and if you want to see all the kind of projects that i'm doing here related to it networking security and so on don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can grow together. So sometimes it's slow to load either inside my network or outside of my network. The other issue that I see sometimes is a lot of freeze. Sometimes it just freezes. And it happened way back when I installed it. 
it froze for like hours and I couldn't get it to reboot again because I even unplugged it from the switch. I think I shared it with you on Instagram. I even unplugged it from the PoE from the switch, but it was still running. That's how I understood that it has some kind of backup. I don't know if they have any kind of condensers or anything inside that is keeping power, but it ran like that and froze for almost hours. I actually left it and just went to bed. And then when I came back in the morning, it was fine. So sometimes it freezes and I really don't understand why. And some other time when I'm outside my network, I'm having a lot of issues accessing the device or pulling up footage or even making a small change on the switch or any other uh, device that I have inside. And something that I want to mention is that I feel like sometime, because I have two phones, I have an Android phone and an iPhone, sometimes I feel like the Android version has way more issues. Like it's kind of hard to access mostly outside. It's harder to access my network with the Android app than with the iPhone. That's also something that I think Ubiquiti should work around. So what do I think are the causes? These are some main reasons why I think I'm having these kind of issues. First of all, the number of cameras. And per Ubiquiti, I'm supposed to have, if we look at this, I can have up to 20 cameras, 20 low bandwidth cameras. Most of my cameras are low bandwidth because I don't have 4K. So I can have up to 20. But right now, I have only 12, but I'm, ex I'm experiencing some issues. I even have this message showing up here telling me that I'm approaching my limit. So as you can see, I have 12 cameras and they are all recording. The, the, the Unify Cloud Key may not be powerful enough to handle 12 cameras recording 24 seven. And that's why it's acting up some time. So that's first. Second, I think there is a problem with memory. If we go under the settings of the device we can see here that um, the cpu is loaded at 32 percent which is fine the temperature is 52 um, uh, degrees and the load the memory is 27 percent i think at some point this goes beyond 27 and that's when i'm seeing some issues sometimes i can gap, i can come here under um unify network and nothing shows up for like one minute nothing shows up here even though i'm directly connected to the device and sometimes i come to make some changes to the switch, for example, like on a certain port on the switch, and it doesn't want to take it. And to the firmware version. Before I make this video, when I actually started being pissed off by this uh, UCK and I decided to make a video, I had an update available. Once I made an update, it become a little bit uh, better because right now I can go and check my equipment. I can go and see the different client and so on. So right now it's, it's better after the, the update that I made. So some of the firmwares available out there are just so bad that you don't want to have them running. And I also think the connection speed, mostly when I'm outside, I use LTE or, 4, or 4G or 5G to access the device. Some of those networks are not so good and that's why you're having problem. But sometimes I feel like the, it doesn't depend on the network. I might be on Wi-Fi. I still have hard time accessing my device from the outside. So those are what I think are the causes. What is my solution so far? I think what I'm going to do is get the UDM Pro. That's my next step. Even though I didn't want to get a UDM Pro, I want to use the 40 gate as my main firewall. But at, at this point, I think I, I should give it a try. I'm going to buy a UDM Pro, but not the one they have right now. I know there is a UDM Pro SE or special edition that is supposed to come out sometime soon. I don't know. It might be a year. It might be six months. But I think I'm going to wait for that one because it has a lot of advantages. I, ha I have PoE on the LAN ports, which can uh, alleviate some of my uh, issues that I have with the switch because I bought the 24 port switch and then ended up needing more. So right now, I need to get the UDM Pro SE when it comes out and uh, I'll also make videos about it. But until then, I'll just stick to the UCK with all the issues that I have and hopefully it won't be that bad. Okay, by the way, don't get me wrong. It's good most of the time. I would say 80% of the time I do what I want to do. I can see who's in front of, uh, of the house. I can make changes to the devices. Even when I'm away, when I'm in Africa, I can still receive notifications. Sometimes it works, sometimes I cannot access the footage. But my only issue is with the Unify Cloud Key. That's what I'm going to replace. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, do not forget to like the video and share it with your community. Also, subscribe to the channel to get more updates when it comes out. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye. Thank <laughs> you.